Right, video 7001 from the second lesson. I just spent the last two minutes talking to myself. I started doing the example and realised I've not pressed my card. Uh, so never mind, I must be tired. Must be nearly half term, that's what it is. So f of x, so this is the mapping one, it just means f of x. So f of x is 2x plus 1, where x is a reals. And g of x is x squared, where x is a reals. Uh, h of x is 2x to the 4 plus 1. Express h of x into, oh right, okay. So I've got to think what combinations of f of x and g of x will give me h of x. That's what it's saying. So what combinations of f of x and g of x will give h of x. If you look, f of x looks like h of x, but x has been replaced with x to the 4. So that was quite a good one to use. So f of x looks like h of x. But x to the 4 is two lots of x squared, so it's doing that twice, isn't it? If you think about it. So h of x, I could write it as two lots of x squared all squared plus one. So it's like I put g into g into f. Does that kind of make sense? So g of g is x to the 4, which is that bit there. So then f g of g will be 2 lots of x to the 4 plus 1. So f of g g <laughs> is the 1. And there's one for you here now. So you've got to get a 2x plus 1 to the power 8. So you've got to square it, square it, square it, haven't you? With, uh, you've got to get an x to the 8 and then stick the f inside it. So the f would have come first. See if it says that. So you can get the x to the 8. That says x to the 8. From g, g, g. But I need to put the f into it first. So I've got g, 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 f. <laughs> oh, the farce. Oh dear. Right. Uh, let me pause it a second. Right, are you ready? So, got transformations of composites. So, we can use composites in geometry to describe a transformation or a series of transformations. Calculator is really good. So, f of x is 4x squared. h of x is x plus 3. Uh, show, that the, show that f of h is that. Right, okay, so part one. So f of h of x is four lots of, replace the x with an x plus three squared. So f h of x is four lots of x squared, six x plus nine. f of h of x, four x squared, uh, 24x, 36. Perfect. Sketch the graph. Right, so how do we do this then? Mm. So f of x is 4x squared. So if I started off with f, if you look what it actually is there, it's just 4x squared shifted to the left 3. So it's just f of x equals 4x squared with a translation of minus 3, 0. So 4x squared would look like that. So that's my f of x, which is that bit there. And then I'm doing 3 to the right, uh, to the left, sorry. 
So now I've got that. So that's going to be my f of h of x. So it's gone from 0 to minus 3. Well, that's not overly bad, is it really? Oh, I've got to describe the transformation. So it's a, just a translation. Minus 3, 0. This bit's a little bit full on, so I'm going to stop it and do a new bid. I used to have a lot of bids for this, so sorry about it. 